Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Thomas Spink, President, CEO, and co-founder of Hemostemics. Hello, Thomas. How are you doing? Good afternoon, Stephen. Very well, thanks. How are you? Good. Good. I'm doing well, thanks. And you must be a very happy man today. You reported some very good news this morning. And while other companies are suffering in the markets, your stock at one point was up almost 15%. Uh, so yeah. um, let's talk about your news. Sure. Well, we announced today the final uh, step in the uh, litigation settlement agreement. We um, settled with our opponents. And this gives us back the intellectual property that uh, is hemostemics that was controlled by our opponents, including the clinical trial data, uh, the randomization tables, which enable us to analyze the phase two clinical trial data, and all of our historical information uh, that was uh, originally at hemostemics Israel. Um, including the randomization table that governs the subjects that were treated in this clinical trial in South Africa. So uh, it's actually a very, very significant day for, for hemostemics and its shareholders. Yeah, no, and I, you probably don't know this about me. I'm, I'm, I'm a recovering lawyer. Um, so, uh, you know, when someone wins a lawsuit, uh, you know, I, I consider that a very big deal. And especially, you know, you are a medical technology company and your intellectual property is everything. Um, yeah. you, know, you, you know, you can come up with the best process in the world, but if you don't own it, then you own nothing. So today's yeah. news release uh, says that uh, all of your intellectual property has been returned to hemostemics and now you have a way forward. Yes, exactly right. And, and to your point, um, you know, this is a, a very significant intellectual property portfolio. It is governed by some 91 patents. Um, what we do, Stephen, is we, we take a cup of blood from the patient's arm, derive their stem cells from it uh, in the space of five days, culture the patient's own stem cells in their blood serum. And we, we create uh, three different stem cell lines, an angiogenic cell precursor that has been used on, to treat some 500 subjects uh, a neuronal cell precursor and a heart cell precursor. The uh, results of, that we have published are, are, are significant. We've uh, demonstrated in a randomized clinical trial, uh, 20 patients where 10 received ACP and 10 received a placebo. There were, after two years of follow-up, there were two deaths and six of eight limbs lost to amputation in the placebo arm. There were no deaths and seven of 10 limbs saved from amputation in the treated arm. And that uh, parallels many of our published results in uh, ischemic heart disease, uh, as well as uh, COPD. Yeah, no, no, these are, that, those are remarkable results. Um, yeah. And especially if, if someone's in danger of losing an arm or if they got cardiomyopathy or, or any of the sorts of things where we're you know, the lack of blood flow is important, yes. uh, you know, to those people that, uh, that is, uh, that is wonderful news uh, yeah. going forward. And, you know, and, and again, today's news is that you, you own all of that now and yeah. uh, you can continue to develop uh, without, uh, without your shareholders worrying that, uh, that somebody else is going to steal your technology. Indeed. Yes. And so we have quite a task ahead of us. It's, uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's not, uh, you know, for the faint of heart, but I think, you know, when you compare our valuation with our peers, uh, I think it's still a very uh, good entry point for anyone who has uh, appetite for biotech risk capital. So and you know, now that you've got the intellectual property uh, issues cleared out of the way, what, what's next for hemostatics? So we will complete the analysis of the phase two clinical trial and, uh, and I predict announce a phase three clinical trial is we have uh, sufficient evidence, you know, in the preliminary data and in the other published data that the product is safe. And as you know, um, that's really the, the point of a phase two clinical trial. You, phase three, you really want to demonstrate that it's not only safe, but also uh, efficacious. Uh, we believe that, um, again, that the historical clinical data we have published is, um, is very indicative of the future for hemostemics. And where are the cl clinical trials taking place? This was a, uh, the current phase two clinical trial was 
in 17 uh, teaching hospitals across North America, some well, very well uh, regarded institutions such as uh, U of T, uh, UBC here in Canada, um, Florida Shands um, as another example. No, well, and, and now you've cleared the path moving forward. And I, I suspect you're going to be a very popular man in terms of the markets as well, uh, especially uh, in, you know, these days when uh, everyone is struggling a little bit, uh, you, you know, you definitely are standing out today. Yes, yes. No, today is a standout day and, uh, and we're, uh, we're delighted. Well, that's great. Well, well, thank you, Thomas. I, I, I uh, look forward to chatting again soon and, and hear how your clinical trials are going. And uh, you please come back and, uh, and update us. Uh, I'm sure that our, uh, our viewers want to, uh, want, to be, want to follow what's going on now that, uh, now that you've cleared the decks for action. Thank you very much, Stephen. Pleasure to speak with you.